Hello everyone, welcome back to SmarksCom 2. We were rather rudely interrupted as we were working on this ambush to get the intel by the aliens. That was quite a shock last episode, but I, I think we handled it just alright. Uh oh. What's going on? Alright. Hey, debris cleared. Very good. Alright, so we can build the proving grounds. I suppose we probably should. Where is this? Right here? Alright. Uh, we got double power coil. Uh, I, I want to put a workshop right here where this alien machinery is. Because then we get the uh, little helper droids all over the place. I guess we should probably do the proving ground. I mean, it would make sense, right? It would make sense. A workshop would be great. Because, yeah, because we'd get the extra gremlins, but I think we'll just do Proving Ground here. We're just going to go for the one workshop in the center, and hopefully that'll work out. So, Proving Grounds, carry on. So the one dude that we have, the one engineer, is going to go in here, and uh, high healing rate increase. I feel like that's going to be a pretty big deal. I mean, we have a lot of injured soldiers. Let's get these soldiers back into action. Let's fix them up. So we have an engineer specifically working to fix all these soldiers up. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to have happen. So, ambush. Strategic resource located. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> all right, we have 47 intel. So, very cool. Uh, we can't afford to make contact, I don't think. Yeah, that costs too much. We have a black market. Again, making contact. Too much. 160. Plus, we don't have any available contacts. We won't have anything for a couple of days, Avengers actually. So let's go to the black market. We're not going to use our intel. But, curious what they have anyways. Alloys. Okay. Uh, that's, that's really all we'd care about to be the alloys. It's not really worth it. Selling, however, we have lots of things. Uh, lots of troopers. Let's go to 15. Uh, I guess that's about it, actually. I don't really want to get rid of anything else. So it's what, all of nine bucks? It's not a great return. Go down to five officers. There will always be more officers. And stun lancers. We can go down to five stun lancers as well. And so we get some decent cash out of it at least. I'll go down to t uh, ten troopers. I'm not even sure what we need troopers for anymore at this point. Eh, five vipers. All right, 76. Little bit of cash. We could absolutely use it. Illyrium crystals, faceless corpses, sunlit, stun lance corpses. That's why we got so much for them. Okay. We're not giving up Illyrium crystals. Uh-uh. No way, no how. So we can't actually make contact right now. So for West Asia. Yeah, I guess we just generate a little bit of intel. It's not going to be great, but there's nothing else available. So, there we go. Aha. New staff, 244 supply income. Very good. Oh, resistance informant would be bad. Alien cipher could also be bad. There's our supply drop. We'll check that out in a sec. So we have an engineer and a sharpshooter. Eh. Avengers Go check out the supply board. drop. Don't think we actually generated any intel, but that's okay. Uh, we need our contacts to be set up. So this alien debris needs to finish so we can get more contacts set up. What's up? A free engineer and 118 intel. That's good. 
That's very good. Rescue VIP from Advent Cell. All right. Hammer Valley. We can do that. We got a hold of some supplies. It's not like it'll matter too much, but it might. You never know. See you. Take you out. We got the magnetic bolt caster. Sam, I am, of course. Uh, Romano, you're one of those guys that I believe we said was going to be awesome. Yeah, Shredder Kill Zone. Romano, we want to train you. Diesel. Mm. We'll pass. We'll absolutely pass on you. What else do we have available? Ay, ay, ay. Well, nothing super great. I guess, yeah, we'll take the spark. Spark wants to come. We'll take the spark. And... I almost want to say we'll take Diesel, too, just so that Diesel gets some experience. We'll take Oliver Jackson, actually. Uh, Jackson could use the experience. So, utility. And weapons as well because you need to have a better axe ionic axe and then your gun crit and bonus action we also need a healer actually uh, doc is not really a healer <laughs> uh, if we if we do take the spark that's not a bad thing so, I guess we'll, we'll give the, the heal to Doc. It's not optimal, but it's, at this point, it's basically standard. Alright, Siam I am. Make sure you still have your awesome gun. It would appear that you do not. So, go for the aim on the mag cannon. And then for the other dude as well, you need to have a better mag cannon. So that gives you 5% aim. Oh, it's a nice little bit. There you go. All right, so we've got aim, aim, badass shard gun, bolt caster, blades, frost grenade, medikit, and don't have the shadow keeper, but that's okay. All right. Very good. We want to train Romano. If we can give Romano the kill, that's what we want to have happen. Sky Ranger deployed. Begin mission. And continue to try to heal up everybody, because holy crap. asking for our help in rescuing an important VIP of theirs that was recently captured by Advent forces in this region. Recon indicates plenty of hostile activity in the area. We'll need to lock down the AO, secure the VIP, and eliminate all enemy contacts standing in our way. Should be fairly easy. It's just a, a quick in and out rescue mission. I like it. I also like the, the fact that we actually healed Siam I am from being basically dead to combat ready for the next mission. Like almost overnight. Because of our, our engineer working to help as a medic. That, that just blows me away. Well, well done. Well done, engineer team. Sam, I am. You're ready to go. So, quick in and out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. All right. It smoothed out. Very good. What do we got? Menace 1-5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay. All right, here's our giant metal skyscraper, ready to go. Very good. All right. So, it's a time mission, so let's go ahead and charge forward full speed ahead. There is nothing going to stop us. There you go. Keep it moving. We have a long ways to go and not a lot of time to do it, so let's... Let's keep our speed up. Now, there, let's see. This is not guerrilla ops, so there won't be automatic reinforcements. Thank goodness. 
Where's our specialist? There you are. What is our hack job? I am curious. What do you have? Intel could be good, actually. We're not gonna. Obviously, if we we do that, then are we we break our concealment, Su succeed or fail. So we're not gonna do that right this second. But we are absolutely going to look at doing that soon. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, you're probably gonna be seen, huh? Yep, that's awful. All right. That's fine. That's probably ideal, really. Hey, why don't you go over here? This will be fun. Sup? We totally got your flank. <laughs> By the way, we're like right here. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Moving to position. Yeah, they're basically toast. There's really nothing they can do to stop us here. All right, Romano. Uh, we'll keep you up high. Okay. It's a pretty sweet position. Does that give you also flanking shots? It gives you one. And then bolt caster. Um, I guess we'll wait to move you until we know for certain that we need to move you. Romano, 100%. Take out the trooper. Very good. And then, sexy, sexy shotgun. Very good. Hated the the shotgun in XCOM 1, but in XCOM 2, it is very useful. It has shown itself to be very, very useful in XCOM 2. All right. Well, hippity hop your way down here. We will get a hack and hopefully return retrieve a small cache of intel. Just a small cache. Yes! Woo! Made the right choice. Very good. Get that intel. That's fantastic because that... That will definitely come in handy with our current situation. Just go ahead and overwatch. I don't want to, to push any buttons. Don't want to get too close. Something might happen, you know? Something might happen. Let's start moving with the spark first. Probably not super much for you to do here, but... You never know. Jackson. Mississippi. Oh! Ho ho! Very good. Actually, that, that's a pod that we might want to use something big on. Oh ho! I'm looking at grenades here. Kill zone's an option. Absolutely. Mm, your grenade doesn't quite make it. You do have the height advantage. We don't want to throw that away quite yet. Ooh, the hack chance. That is realistic, isn't it? Well... Why don't you scoot to here, so you have cover going both ways, you see all three enemies. Haywire Protocol. We'll start with this, and see what happens. If we could get a hold of this mech, that would be pretty huge. 30%. Bad luck. Would have had the stun, did not get the control. That's okay. Funny as it is, we actually do have a contingency plan for that. Just in case. If we can get it over here, holy cow. Uh, what I want to do is I actually want to blow open this wall as well. Uh, the reason why I want to blow open this wall is our VIP is right here. So if we can blow open this whole bit right in here, uh, this gives us a very clear, large entry into the facility that should get us going all the way through. Can we, there we go, do that. So that'll kill one of the guys outright. Very good. Okay, 
So with that, we now have a hole into the building that we can uh, easily get to the VIP from. And there's a fire that'll destroy a little bit more as well. So uh, that's all good. Romano, 99%. Get the kill, buddy. Nicely done. What a long shot, too. It's fantastic. All right, scoot to here. About as close as you can reasonably get. You do have a 78 on the mech. We will be looking towards that 56. Try it first. Nice. Very well done. Indeed. Well, since you've got an extra move, slip around the corner. Save a little bit of movement range. So far, this mission's going quite well. Uh... There should be at least two more pods. One pod on the map, one pod reinforcements. So two pods is what we're expecting here. Go ahead and go right here. Spark won't move. Spark will be happy where he's at. Move up Schmidt and then Siam I am. We will put you right here. Everyone's all nice and tight together. We'll need that reload. All right. Spark. Okay. Double Lyrium core. Very good. All right. Let's put Jackson in here. There you go. No enemies. That is actually a pretty big deal. Wow. It's just like a wall that still exists right here somehow. I'm okay with that. Cool. Looks like we're fairly safe to continue moving up. Uh, want to do so in a, a respectable manner. We don't want to... To screw ourselves here. There you go. And yeah, Overwatch with the bolt cast. That's a, a safe instant kill Overwatch. Oh! What do we find? Oh, whatever we found, it's probably dead. I think you killed somebody. <laughs> Are there only two guys come out? And it looks like only two guys came out. I think you killed somebody. Wow. Yay for glitching. Alright. Uh, you somehow can see through the roof. So. I like this axe. Throw the axe. Nice. That was very good damage. It'll just go on forever, but very good damage, all the same. All right, right here should give Romano the kill. There it is, 90%. Nice. That is huge. Absolutely huge. And then we have... Uh... We'll, we'll want Schmidt to move in there, probably with the spark. So, so am I am. If you could manage to get right here and score a kill for yourself, that would be a pretty big deal. 76. Nice. Did you see that one? I did. He kind of flopped around, didn't he? That was pretty good. Go ahead and go here, actually. I want to see around that corner. want to be able to look. Okay. You're immune. That's good. <laughs> On the move. Immune to the little bit of fire that exists there. We'll put you here. We want you to reload. We need that bolt caster to be ready to fire at a moment's notice. Overwatch. Overwatch. For safety. All right. There you go. Still immune. 
and you have your hack. So, go to here, slip in a hack. So what do you have? Intel. I'll take the, the cheap one. Good pick. All right. Two small caches of intel. That's not a bad haul out of this mission. Holy cow. All right, let's open the door and get out of here. Absolutely. There should be a reinforcement pod coming in very soon to hit us. So we do have to be prepared for this. Uh, Siam I am. Not, no, where's, there's Siam I am. Siam I am. Uh, just go here. Alright, that's beautiful. And then Romano. Go here. Still beautiful. Everything is still beautiful. There are no enemies in, to be found right now. So, reload. We will scoot you to here. Reload. Reload. Get behind uh, the spark here. Get moving a little bit. Yes. Okay, whatever. Overwatch. Hunker. And there's the backup. Okay. Very good. That's fine. We are not actually concerned at all about this. I'm on my way. So spark through the door. We could overdrive overwatch. I don't think that's the smart move here. We're just going to straight up overwatch. Call it good. Let's get our people on the roof to move first. They're the ones that are going to have the most vision going forward. Maybe not the best places to move, but they will have the most vision. We don't want to move too far away from the point. We do only have five turns to get out of here, so we need to keep moving towards the point. Make sure that we can actually get out at a reasonable pace. I think what we'll do here is we will uh, rock them by going way out there. We'll have a nice up high overwatch with Romano. There we go. Doc. You can actually get up high, but you can't really use it. Yeah, not super much. So we're not going to worry about it too much. Uh, we'll put you here. Get you an overwatch this way. Because if you hit with your overwatch, you are essentially golden. Scoot you over to here. Jackson, you are going to charge to the front lines. That'll be our last move. Don't have as many overwatches as I would like, but we are positioned in a really solid uh, overall position, for lack of a better word. Uh, we are we're putting up, we're putting ourselves in a really great place right now. So wherever they move, we can counter. Is how we're we're trying to figure that out. And I think we figured it out in a pretty good way. So. Where are you going? Yeah, we'll have some shots. Nice. Super nice. Delicious. That's two. Just bam, bam. Just like that. There's only one guy left. We should be able to counter him really well. Uh, if anything, with the spark, we could counter him. Just about, actually. Right here. That does not give you a flank. It does. Flanking threat, 40%. Okay. Uh, let's overdrive here. If we're going to have the overdrive, may as well use it. So to give us two shots. First shot, 84%. Second shot, a little bit less. If you blow up the truck, that's not a bad thing. Okay. You're going to need a lot more than ammunition. <laughs> All right, let, we could, if we stayed up here, we could get a really easy shot on the Stun Lancer, but we want to keep moving towards the exit at this point. So, 
we only need to take that shot as an we don't actually need to take that shot at all to be honest we have our combat protocol that's a instant guaranteed kill so that's not even a shot we need to risk all right get the vip out of here it's absolutely safe get the vip out bye bye Okay, so again, we could go for the shot, uh, or we could just straight up combat protocol. And honestly, let's give Doc the combat protocol kill here. It's guaranteed, it's fast, and it spreads out the kill just a little bit more. I mean, Romano's really taking quite a few kills here, and that, I'm not complaining. Uh, that's kind of what we've been trying to do, is get Romano those kills. But uh, certainly it's not necessarily in the best interest of the team. You know, you want everyone to be fairly equal on kills. You know, share the experience and all. Bye. Our window for extraction is wide open, Central. We have three full turns left. No reinforcements on the way. We are good to go. GG. That could not have possibly been cleaner. Seriously. That was so easy. So clean. Wow. We even killed a, a civilian in there too. I mean, can you imagine that? It's just, it's been, that was a really easy mission. Average damage increase. Very nice. Most under fire in a... Like, it just... They never fired a shot. They never had a chance to fire a single shot at us. Nobody was under fire. That's how successful this mission was. Like, wow. And we even brought a squatty along with for the ride. We brought along a squatty ranger for the ride. Who I think got quite a few kills, actually. He got the shotgun. Got quite a few kills. Oliver Jackson. Uh, wow. Siam I am's no longer shaken. Spark didn't take any damage. So, doesn't take any more repair time. Honestly, that that's about as clean as they come. That's fantastic. Guardian. Okay, so you're all about the overwatches. Uh, we're still gonna go Phantom. Still gotta go Phantom. But good to know you've got the Overwatches. Now you have one extra HP, too. So, very good. Two Illyrium Cores, 20 Intel, and Fergus Macintosh. So it's 20 Intel on top of work. the 118 Your Intel. To the That's huge. Across the globe. So I am feeling better. We have a new staff member. And I think we will put that staff member in the proving ground. Ooh, or do we want to put... We'll, we'll put him in the proving ground for now. So go work on the proving ground just for a little bit. Um, but I'm thinking we'll end up putting an engineer in the power relay room to increase the Avengers power. And then open up our alien, or alien contacts. Open up our regional contacts a little bit more after we clear this alien debris. And see if we can get uh, the contacts available to go ahead and take care of the, uh, the fact that there's an alien facility generating, what, three, four? What is it that it's generating now? Yeah, I know. Supply drop available. Abandoned camp. Not now. Three is how much it's generating now. So, we're going to do that. And actually, just to go ahead and end the episode, we will polish off the supply drop. Just to finish up the episode here. Because this should be quick and easy. No problem. There it is. And sit at the abandoned camp. And that will do the episode, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Best to do for the channel. Share the video on Facebook and on Twitter. Thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter. Patreon links in the description down below. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with more 
XCOM 2. Feels good. One last thing I want to check. Do we want to upgrade any of this? The Helix Rail Cannon helps the spark. It's 25 alloys. But I think it's worth it. Because then our spark can actually do more damage. Instead of failing to kill, uh, it can actually get a kill every once in a while. So, we'll go ahead and grab the Helix Rail Cannon here. Expensive, I know. But it's all for the spark. You know, it's someone we've used a great deal. For Bradford to practice on. Let's if he see. Crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. So it it is just a flat upgrade. Two damage upgrade. Cool. I'm good with that. Fire prime weapon. Okay, yeah. In the absence of social Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, cool. So there you go. Alright, again, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And DFTBA.